Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Kwaku, and today I have an app review for you. It's been a while. First app review of 2021. This one is called Modern Flyouts. Now, what Modern Flyouts allows you to do is it replaces your traditional flyouts, which is, uh, and I'll show in a second, which is like when you up your volume up and down and your brightness up and down in your computer, uh, specifically your laptop. It allows, it changes it up and makes it look a little bit more modern according to the developer and by the way the developer for this application is sam g you can get this app on the windows store the microsoft store um but yeah so right off the bat you have an option to for caps lock so when you turn on caps lock you got your modern flyout for that you see right there it kind of has like a notch if i hover over uh, and then if i turn off caps lock you see it's off and on and so on like that you can keep this pinned on um, or you can make it go like that. So what I'm going to show you first before I get into it is the settings. So let me actually bring the settings in. So right here, this is modern flyout settings. Um, and actually, for example, I'm just going to pin this thing right here so you guys can always see it. Um, so you can change the app theme. And what the app theme is, is that you essentially can make this screen here, which is really the setting screen, change to light or dark. So you got like that or system, you can change the top bar visibility to visible, auto hide and collapsed. And the top bar is essentially this right here. So right there you have the top bar. Um, you can make it so that way this goes away or this comes back. This whole thing comes back. And so I auto hide it or I can make it visible and you get the little notch there right there and you make it visible. So it'll always be there. So if you sit, you hit it as visible, this area up here will always be there whereas if you put auto hide it gets rid of it and just keeps this information area right there and you have to hover over this icon for it to grow and have everything else there you can align to the default position so you can click that and it'll align to the default position right there which is in the top left corner of the screen another thing you can do too is you can change the background opacity of the flyout so if i lower it's like half and i do it you see it's kind of see-through kind of fluent see-through if i want to lower it more it's kind of live you can see it right there it looks pretty cool lower it just a little bit more let's say i just want it to be barely there i can keep it right there and i'll always know now i'm doing an example with caps but i can do it with volume as well so if i up volume down volume you can see it does the same thing and an example with the volume is right here so up down it's the same percentage same number it's just different um same thing with the screen brightness if i can even see my keyboard you can see I can up and down my screen brightness. You guys won't see the difference, obviously, but you can see it up there. Um, it works pretty simply and it works really well. I'm gonna leave it about 11% because to me it looks really nice. In fact, you know what, I'll bring it up to like 15. Let me just tweak that just a little bit or 16% and let me see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So here you can hear, you can hit it so that it shows the system tray icon. So you'll see the modern flyouts icon right there, which is modern flyouts. Uh, you can use a colored tray icon or not. So if I uncheck it, it makes it just like this. If I check it off right there, you see that it's going to change. There you go to color. I'm going to change it, keep it to color because that's just how I like it. I like to see the color of things. Now that was just under the personalization side. If you go to the general, uh, you can have it run at startup, which I'll just leave it to run at startup. You can change the default flyout to the Windows default. And when you do this, um, it says choosing the Windows default file as default won't close the app. The app will still run until you exit. So here you see the Windows default flyout. And if you want the modern flyout, there it is. It saves your settings just like that. I actually kind of like the modern flyout more. Um, align the flyout to a specific pixel location on the XY grid. Um, so I can change that and it'll change. So if I want it to be at 200 out of my 1080, I believe. Um, you can hit accept and then if I increase it, you see it shifted. We'll put it back to 60 and leave it there. And then it will just align to 60 and then which is the default just in the top left corner. So if you like it on the right or the left in the middle, you can do that. Right now this laptop is connected to just a simple 16 by 9 monitor. So if it was my super ultra wide downstairs, um, you would see the difference. You probably want it in the middle so you can you don't have to stretch your whole neck to see how bright or how high your volume is. Um, going down a little bit more, you see just the general settings there, run at startup. And then going down here, you got audio. Now this just allows you to change between the different settings. So again, I, I showed you how to, like when you hit caps lock and things like that, when you hit the um, volume up and volume down button there, I showed you all that stuff. So digging deeper into the volume here, you can hit media as well. So it'll show thumbnail alignment, vertical, horizontal. So if I play music, 
um, which I'm not going to do. But if I play music, you'll see that change in the modern flyout there. Um, keep it on going down, though. You can enable the brightness flyout, which basically, like I said, when I increase my brightness of my computer screen, you'll see it. Um, you can enable that or disable that. If I disable that, when I increase my brightness like I did, you'll see it just as a normal flyout. The regular Windows default versus the caps lock will still be a modern flyout. So you can really just tweak this to whatever you want. I like the modern flyout, so I'm going to leave it just like that. Airplane mode flyout, if you switch it to airplane mode, it will stay in airplane mode. So if I go to my uh, action center there and then I go here uh, to airplane mode, you can see airplane mode is on, airplane mode is off, so on like that. So it works really well. Let me turn off airplane mode so I can actually have internet access. Um, keep it on going there. Uh, you got your lock keys. So set select keys you want to show the flyout for. Enable lock keys flyout. Um, so if you want to lock your keys, you can do the same thing. And you can select which one you want. So like your caps lock, your num lock, your scroll lock, and your insert. If you press any of those, if I can even find it on my keyboard, which I can't see right now. I'll actually insert right there. You can see insert over type mode. You can see that it changes and it tells you what mode you're in. So this is really nice for, I say, for like an accessibility feature, honestly. I kind of think that um, a lot of times Windows doesn't tell you, like if you've accidentally selected it, your keyboard will show something lighting up. If you, do, if you have a regular keyboard, um, your traditional desktop keyboard, you won't see that. But on a laptop, you usually have like a light that pops up telling you that you're in caps. But sometimes you don't notice it and then you end up typing in caps on accident. So it's really nice that this flyout happens that you can see that caps is on, caps is off, and so on like that. And the last thing here, we have the info here. You know, I always check for info to make sure that the developer put in what I feel like should be in every application. So the developer put in the description right there, um, the version number. Um, and then he says this is where you can reach the person in order to give issues, send issues. Um, then you have the GitHub thing, contributors, dependencies, and issue, open a new issue. And then you can review it on the store. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna click review it on the store. And then I'm going to type in modern flyout so you guys can see the page just like this. Oops, I spelled it wrong, but I think I'm going to get it right. Modern fly outs. There we go. And then if I go here, you can see this is modern flyouts, and you can see what it does. You got a light and dark theme. In fact, I don't think I showed you that, but you see it now. Um, and yeah, so this is modern flyouts. It's pretty straightforward, it's not hard to use at all. Um, and in fact, like they said, you can switch between the light and dark theme really easily. Uh, you go to settings right there and you can switch between light and dark theme. So you click settings and then you just pick whatever you want. Personalization. I want the, the, the flyout theme to be light and then now it's light. But because it's the background, there you go. Now you can see light and dark theme. Same thing for volume. You can see light and dark theme and so on. So yeah, this is modern flyouts and here it is on the store right here. I will put the price of what it is in the comment section, not the comment section, but the description box so you guys can get it. There'll be a link to it as usual. Um, I think it's free, but I have to double check. I might have just gotten it for free when it was on sale or something. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But this is the first of many app reviews. As you know, we're trying to grow, trying to get to 700, growing closer and closer to 800 and 1,000 very soon. So let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other suggestions, then let me know as well, um, and I'll take a look at it. Maybe, maybe I'll take a look at it. We'll see. But uh, take care, everybody, and have a happy day.